What is going on YouTube? DJ K coming to you with a quick video. In this video, we're just going to do a simple uh, tutorial on how to load up projects, sounds, and groups on Machine Studio. It's pretty easy. When you first start your machine up, you're going to be on this generic screen right here. Just showing um, master group sound and then solo. So all you want to do is just hit browse and you'll be... You'll go right to your groups pretty much. You'll be in groups. And groups is just groups of sounds like from your uh, machine expansions like Dark Pressure, Machine, Platinum Blouse, uh, Transient, Transistor Punch, True School, and then Vintage Heat. Uh, that, these are only uh, machine expansions that I have on her right now that I've purchased. Um, but then you can go, you can load up different individual sounds out of these expansions. You can load up instruments like from Complete nine or complete eight or whatever you got you can load up different uh sound instruments like uh, abbey road 60s drums abbey road 70s 80s modern drum lab if you got that and all you do is you can scroll through and you can pick which which sounds you want to load up alicia's keys absinthe but this is a one cool feature i do like that it shows you uh, a graphical image on screen of that plugin so of course we all know that Complete 9 integrates well with Machine Studio and loading up these different sounds is really easy using Machine Studio. Like if you want to load Razor up, some sounds from Razor, it's pretty simple. You select the group you want, uh, select the pad that you want the group to be on, to select the pattern length pattern. You can also select uh pattern length. I'm gonna hit pattern right there. Pattern length you can actually do that on default in the software. Uh pretty much I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know how to do that though. But you can have a default pattern length set. So when you do set your different patterns you don't have to keep going and setting it. It'll already be set. So we're gonna just put it on this pattern, this particular I'm gonna go back because I don't think I wanna actually use Razor. I'm gonna try to load, I'm gonna load up some drums. So let me go back to uh, instruments and then go to my favorite uh, plugin pretty much, which is Drum Lab. I'm just gonna load up the generic Drum Lab plugin with all sounds already on it. I'm gonna put it on group A, load it. Just load it up. Now, in order to play that all over your pads, you just go, you hit uh, pad mode. And I always have it on fixed velocity so, so the drums will be equal in volume. And you can hit keyboard and then you'll have all your different sounds within Drum Lab. Of course, you can load up individual sounds in Drum Lab if you want to. You can load up individual sounds to each pad if you want to do it like that. Or you can load up the kit, the Drum Lab kit. And also, if you want to change the tempo, once again, I said this in a, a video that I got uploaded right now, actually. Uh, but you hit tap. I don't think it's a tempo button. I don't see a tempo button on her anywhere. But this is how I change my tempo. I just hit tap, and then I turn the knob to the desired tempo that I want. Which is 85, whatever. 85.76, which I would rather have it at. Right at 85, but that's fine. 85.76 is fine. And you're pretty much ready to go. You're ready to uh, make a beat or whatever. Make sure the metronome is on. Okay, hold on. We stop that. Go back to my sounds. Alright, so that was all beat like a mug. Oh, that's nothing. If you mess up, it's pretty easy. Just hit the clear button, and that, that whole pattern will be gone, it'll be erased, and then you can start over.
All right, that's been my little video on how to load up instruments, projects, effects, sounds, pretty much it's all the same. Loading up effects and all that, it's pretty much self-explanatory if you got this machine studio, it's right there in your face pretty much. I mean, all you do is hit these buttons, you can load up your projects, your groups, your sounds, your instruments, your effects, your samples. And you can hit user and you can load up sounds on your uh, hard drive. It'll scan for your hard drive. You can actually scan your hard drive for all the sounds in your hard drive and you can load those up too. Alright, see you guys on the next video. DJK is out.